Hello, I'm sure your mind is clouded with many thoughts of who you want to be 10 years from now, what should be your choice of um, education stream. Some of you may be knowing that, oh, I, yeah, quite confirmed that they want to do design, but then what stream should I choose? So with all this in your mind, I hope the next few minutes uh, would help you bring clarity in your thoughts or your decision and how you want to go ahead. I think there is no better time than today to be a designer. And why do I say so? It's so exciting because design has gone beyond uh, uh, skill sets and beyond uh, the tangible form. But to think about how we can better lives is uh, whether it's an organizational context or a social context or a business uh, context, I think design seeds itself uh, almost everywhere. So what type of design? Like I said, design is moved from skill sets. Uh, so design can move from uh, designing objects, uh, which is more concentrated on products that can, you can see, touch and feel, or communication um, collaterals, to service design, which is like the Uber or uh, the Swiggy that all of you use. Uh, we can also move into designing systems for organizations. How does the structure of people work? How, how do we build culture in this uh, work from home situations and so on and so forth. And I, I think what we need definitely is designers in the policy areas because we can see things or we view things from more lenses than one and almost take a 360 degree view of uh, a decision uh, before we do problem solving. So um, the first point is obviously you can develop your interests as you learn. So the cloud that you have right now takes, you can spend the next three years figuring out yourselves uh, before you graduate. The two year intense foundation to develop a multi-skill skill set. So you can, you know, um, graphic design, you know, product design, you know, interactive design, you're looking at screens, you're looking at more than screens and so on and so forth. You get future ready skills in emerging technologies because we work in IoT as well as uh, uh, alternate realities, which are XR and VR. Uh, of course, our school boasts of art, the state of art labs with a rapid prototyping typing, sorry, tinkering lab, which has uh, Arduinos and uh, actuators to tinker with. Uh, we have an XR lab as well as we are one of the few schools in India that has a usability testing lab. Uh, because we believe that impact of design is more important than the design or the process itself. Uh, we also have a very small batch, which helps us give, uh, provide intensive faculty engagement uh, to our students. So our faculty student ratio is uh, very good. Uh, uh, we believe in group, we don't, we believe in teamwork rather than group work, as I mentioned in my few slides before. And we have a semester long industry internship, which in which you are actually uh, uh, working as a, a an employee of the company and you know sitting on the seat of uh, productivity and the other one where you're sensitizing yourself with the world in um, social spaces we have a uh, bts that is aict uh, recommended and approved as well but we use the four years uh, in a slightly different manner. We have a more rigorous uh, two-year foundation program that uh, sums up this transdisciplinary learning, but also gives you the skill from 2D, like from sketching to 3D uh, and use of uh, Unity and 3D spaces. We are also looking at thinking on how would you do thinking with, with a screen uh, as uh, a real estate to space as a real estate. We're also looking at how do you conduct scientific research, how do you write an article, a white paper, a research paper. So we are trying to develop a more holistic uh, student. The third year is 
project based applications using emerging technology so a student in groups and that's where we decide we get them to learn teamwork the fourth year is spent in uh, again internalizing yourself exploring yourself as a individual in a capstone project along with documenting it into a formal research paper and further on uh, going on to your internships and placements now that you're a complete holistic designer in the domain of humanizing technology uh, i think the doors of industry are completely open and wide open for you and i can say that with pride uh, with the our uh, placement record um, of last year and the year before that so uh, careers after bdes typically going to profiles like interaction designer experience designer for emerging technologies like ar vr so on so forth design researcher data visualization which is an upcoming uh, profile and of course the ui or the ux designer uh, like i mentioned earlier uh, our first batch had 100% placements even in the covid times and uh, we had 100% paid internship uh, a legacy that we have followed through even this year uh, and we have some of the top companies uh, recruiting from us which are deloitte you hfi dmlr um, learning mate fractal link parallax and so on and so forth the list is only growing Well since we focus a lot on research and scientific research I'm proud to state that uh, we have been working with the uh, Howard T and Chan School of Public Health through their day labs for the last 2 years on two projects and uh, a body of students along with faculty mentors are um, consistently mentoring and working with them on two projects the first one was remember now and the second one uh, that is running right now is sketch tomorrow besides that uh, i think eight of our students uh, submitted their uh, papers on to uh, the multiple university international conference at in 2020 and um, they all were selected to be presented in the online conference our selection process for the program bdes humanizing technology for the batch of 2022 is through nmims dat uh, and what is it there are about four steps that you need to follow the first step is obviously an online research registration uh, with the dates uh, which with within the following dates 15th november 2021 to 24th april 2022 on the nmims.in website the step 2 is to prepare yourself for the online studio test and the portfolio upload which happens on the 30th of april 2022 the online studio test is of two parts part a is a mcq based 10 questions and part b is a more problem solving uh design challenge step 3 is an online personal interview which will be scheduled from 5th to the 8th may 2022 step 4 is the declaration obviously of the merit list which will be on 7th may where we will welcome you to our school